all of a sudden I started choking. I think you could choke on air. Anthony says you can't, but I'm telling you, I choke on air. And then I just start coughing. It's terrible. But I'll control it. I'll try not to do it in school. I won't do it in school. It's an accident. It's an accident. I don't know, Anthony. It's like it just like popped. <laughs> Weird and loud coughs. Can't breathe. That'll be interesting because winter's coming. Winter is coming. You wouldn't know it. It's like 103 degrees out still in the afternoon. Sooner or later, it's going to get cool, right? We hope. Kayla, you can choke on air. Brooke and I both say you can. You can choke on air. <laughs> All right, let me share my screen with you guys. You're still going to wear your hoodie? Are you going to wear your hoodie when it's 110 degrees? You guys still wear hoodies even when it's 110 degrees. I noticed that. I noticed that. Yes, I know. I don't know how you do it. I'm dying and you guys wear hoodies. You won't like to wear hoodies in my room. <laughs> But you're, you're, um, ooh, this one's fun. Would you rather be able to talk and communicate with ants or birds and why? So that's in your, your um, attendance for today. I'm reading some comments. Okay, so today, after you do your attendance, you don't have to watch the video. Uh, I'm going to play this for you today. So your four people have already turned it in. Our question for today would you ever go scuba diving why or why not would you ever go scuba diving um i've got a short video about scuba diving it's it's not about scuba diving it's about scuba diving in one particular place it's really it's kind of interesting okay there's a picture of a scuba diver exploring underwater for you if you want to look at that but i'm going to play this video for us all okay so we can all watch it I'm going to mute myself so that it's easier to hear the video. So give me like five seconds to start it. Hopefully you're all paying attention. Um, I'm reading some of the comments. All right. Nothing I need to answer. Okay. So hopefully we're all paying attention. I'm going to play the video from the warm up, And then after that, you'll have a little bit of time to answer. This famous arch is located near the Egyptian city of Dahab, at the depth of 60 meters below the water's surface. Sadly, the popular spot is famous for the large number of deaths that occurred here, because many divers, disregarding all diving safety standards, attempt to go through the arch with a supply of only one tank of air. As a result, many die from the effects of nitrogen narcosis, or simply run out of air on the way back. Even though everyone knows that to go through the arch of the blue hole, divers need special technical training and special equipment. To master technical diving, 
Even the most experienced divers must first take courses to learn how to dive deeper than usual using a special mix of gases called trimix. It's called trimix because by reducing the amount of the two main atmospheric gases, they are supplemented by non-toxic helium. This mix guarantees safety from nitrogen narcosis and helps maintain complete clarity of thought. But before attempting to learn to dive on Trimix, a diver must complete from several dozen to a hundred dives. In reality, after taking just the first course, which consists of four open water dives at best, many people begin to think that they're practically amphibious. Many of the most popular courses don't fully reveal to their students the serious dangers of deep water diving in fear of losing existing and future clients. Training time is often reduced to three days, during which students are taught to assemble equipment and put on and take off their mask underwater while kneeling on the bottom. Complicated skills like the proper use of fins or achieving neutral buoyancy are usually left for later but often the flaws of the training systems are amplified by the idiosyncrasies of the Russian character. Many consciously take risks, believing that their experience will be sufficient to keep them safe. Okay, so that video is actually from Russia, because um, a lot of people dive in Russia, believe it or not. And they've had a lot of deaths in that particular area. That's in Russia there. But um, scuba diving is kind of interesting because you do need to take very specialized classes. And one of the points they make is that even though people take the classes, they kind of rush you through the classes to get you out to do the scuba diving, which is fun, right? But um, some people don't have enough skill to do some of the dives that they are trying to do. Um, hold on. Let's see. Miss uh, Cambry. Can you uh, use my name? What can I help you with? Oh, yes. Hold on a second. I can help you with that in a minute. Um, that's so true, Anthony, the more you know. Okay, so I'm going to present my screen again, and this will probably help you with your question, Cambry. So, again, what you guys need to do. Oh, today. Today, so hopefully you've finished your attendance now and you've done your warm-up so again answer the question about scuba diving give me a why don't just answer it two things to do today and i want to see your responses before you can get off the meat the first one is this google form for thankful fridays so again fill this out several questions last name first name you guys are third period um, go through, read my questions. They're a little different from last week, but not totally different. Answer those, submit it, and then you're done there. And then our actual assignment for today is the Ed Puzzle. So I do want you to stay online to do this. So when you do the Ed Puzzle, we've done them before. You pull it up and hit play. And every so often, so every like a minute, eight seconds, two minutes, 22 seconds, the video is going to stop. And it's going to ask a question. You have to answer the question before the video will play again. Okay. So I want you to do both those things, but I want you to stay on the meat to do those.
right. Get your work done. I'm going to mute myself. Throw a question in the comment box if you have any questions.